Hello, hello everybody. And it's been a while since I updated the Bloody Marys. And they're all doing very nice. This is a quick update. The Bloody Marys. But the main issue we have going on with this tank is string algae, hair algae, whatever you want to call it. I've been, I had been plucking it out, but it's starting to get to the point where it intertwines so hard. So getting to the moss, that that's not really working anymore. Oh, and I've known about the hydrogen peroxide H2O2 treatments. In fact, I've used, I used to use H2O2 and potassium permanganate, which is a stronger oxidizer on my pond outside for algae. So I know this works, and I've used hydrogen peroxide before in tanks, so I know. Well, I've never used it on a shrimp tank, but I knew that marks shrimp tanks. Not me, obviously, but the other, one of the other mark shrimp guys uses H2O2 on his tanks. And so I was looking to see what his recommended dosage was and see did it um, prove, um, has proven it to be shrimp safe at his those levels. So that's what I've done. I even backed it down a little bit. I put this is a 20 gallon long and I put it's supposed to be 1.5 mils per US gallon I did 25 mils just to see because I like my Bloody Marys a lot and I don't want to see anything bad happen to these guys because they're pretty cool I like them quite a bit they're real party super party But as you can see, I've already dosed it. And see how it's turning white. Like being lifted up. And if you look real close, you can see little bubbles in there. There's some little bubble. You can see little bubbles. It looks like the moss is purling. That's just little tiny pieces of algae oxidizing, is what that is. I ordered some syringes so I can get a super close precise measurement. But this is just eyeballed on a there on my one of my fertilizer dosing cat. This meow meow, what are you doing? The ditch kitty. Yes. How you doing? Call her the ditch kitty. Because she was rescued as out of the ditch. Yeah, like, she might have been a month old. Yeah. Now she's a grown up kitty going in the heat and driving everyone nuts. Anyway, you can see how it's rising up start turn white I'll probably give it another dose tomorrow see what happens As you can see the little bubbles in it it's oxidizing it the shrimp are all just fine and dandy I put that in probably an hour or two ago so it is certainly 1.5 mils a gallon this is definitely a safe dose for shrimp. 
I even put it in my 75 gallon green jade tank and in that one I put roughly 80 mils but uh, obviously I can do more than that but I'm just you know running my own test being extra safe string algae is a pain in the butt and I went to go pull some of it out that whole great big clump of moss taking up the whole corner of the tank started coming up with it so I was like screw this there's got to be a better way and I knew about H2O2 and I knew that Merck Shrimp Tanks was a proponent and I just I went to went and saw what he had to say about it and his proven dosage for shrimp and I did that and backed it down just a little bit. I don't turn the filters off because I've never, I've, when I did it on the pond outside with hydrogen peroxide and potassium permanganate, I did it much higher doses, much stronger oxidation, and everything was fine. There's no, it didn't hurt the biological filtration at all so I know with just such a low dose to be shrimp safe I won't even even worry a little bit about the filtration so I just left a little a little cheap aquion filter running and everything's fine So we'll see. This little will probably take a few doses, I imagine. To kill it all. Yeah, we'll see. So I'm gonna get some good shots of these bloody mares right in the video. If the cat will get out of my way. Cat, please quit. Okay, and they're all doing shrimp hands. Eat, 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 eat. Little shrimpy, 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 shrimpies. There's a lot of them in here. This corn is really doing good. There's only a pack of them. The big party mama. I really like these Bloody Marys. I'm glad I got them and they're doing good for me. A pretty decent. Now, this cat wagging well, her tail, got the tip of her tail in the water and just flipped the water on me and my phone while I'm trying to take this video. You are a pain in the butt. Oh yeah, for future reference. These things suck. I'm saying some of my tanks without heaters or, or with heaters are 54 degrees. And some with heaters, they'll say anything from, they're all room temperature. I mean, the tanks on the floor are maybe a degree or two cooler than the tanks up on the top. But those things are crap. So, but these things are still the best thermometers, in my opinion, as far as cheap thermometers go. I'm a fan of the little sticker ones. They're probably not exact, but them digital ones, them cheap digital ones, they're good for a while, but I think when the battery starts getting low, there you go to crap. Cat? Meow meow. Are you gonna let us do this? Huh? You gonna let us do this? Okay. Alright. Get some Bloody Mary close ups. Oh my god, cat. 
There we go. Now you're gonna go behind the snail shell, big birdie mama. There you go. Completely unharmed. Uh, the peroxide treatment. Thank you all for watching. Bye.